Hey, it's Alicia Little, and in this episode of The Digital Jampreneur, we are replaying an episode where I was interviewed by Dr. Stan Harris. Dr. Stan Harris is also known as Dr. Breakthrough. He's one of only 100 10th degree black belts in the entire world, so we call him Dr. Breakthrough. Anyway, this interview is from his Breakthrough Challenge, where he asked me a little bit about what it takes to be a successful online entrepreneur. I know that you'll enjoy it, so let's watch the interview. So let's bring on, uh, we can spotlight our first speaker, Alicia Little. Uh, this lady, uh, I like to say, uh, her and her sister, I call them the little sisters that make a big <laughs> difference. <laughs> and Alicia is one of the most powerful internet speakers and trainers. She's always one of our favorites. She's been voted favorite of favorites as far as her training and speaking. She's as a heart as big as Texas. She knows the facts. As a matter of fact, my friend, she loves to have fun. And, and not only that, she loves empowering people. Now, she's got a unique style where she not just speaks, she teaches you something. So like Nadia, often when we hear people, she's, Nadia will say, well, baby, what, what can we put into practice? What can we do with that? Well, when Alicia speaks and trains, you know exactly what to do. So I need you to unmute your line and I need you to give some energy because remember high energy equals high income. So let Alicia Little know that you love her Yay! and you're ready. Come on now. Hi, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Hi, Welcome everybody. <laughs> Awesome. Dr. Sam, thank you so much. And I'm excited to be with you here today. What an amazing lineup of speakers you guys have. And when Dr. Stan told me Tom Ziegler was coming on, I'm like, make sure I go first because I cannot follow Tom. But I'm so excited to listen to him. So yay, Tom, <laughs> coming on after me. So um, I just wanted to say hi to everybody. I love the theme, Breakthrough to Financial Freedom. So what a great theme that you're that you're um, joining this with today. I'm just looking at the time so that if you have any questions, ask me your questions in the chat box. But what I'll do is I'll do a presentation and then I'll save five minutes for question and answers. All right, so if you're here to learn how to make some money on the internet with me this morning, like you really wanna know. So you know, if I could give you 10 minutes of let's go and I'm gonna teach you in 10 minutes how you can make money on the internet, I just want you to write money, money in the comments because I wanna see who's really excited about learning about how to make some money on the internet. Cause this is my passion. This is what I love to do is to help people understand what they currently have, the skills and the talents they currently have to make money on the internet. Look at Mark Anthony is like money, 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 money. <laughs> Marcia, money, money. It is totally possible with the skills and talents that you have today that you can make money on the internet. Now, let me start off by saying, since it's a really quick presentation, I'm gonna give you some Thing that will help you to say, you know what, I can do this. I can start today. And then you keep building on top of there. Now, Dr. Stan, one of the all time best motivational and inspirational speakers I have ever met really helps people get to their breakthroughs. And I want to tell you a story, and this is going to lead to your skills and pulling it out of you. I want to tell you a story that goes back 17 years about me and Dr. Stan. So Dr. Stan was speaking at one of my events 17 years ago, and he went like, he's such an amazing speaker. He like breaks boards and everybody gets into his presentation. But when he was going to sell at the end of the presentation, he was selling someone else's program. He tells his story often, but it's a good teaching point and a good starting point. Now, Dr. Stan, so talented, got so much to offer. I asked him, why are you selling someone else's program? And we sat in my office for maybe 20 minutes before he spoke and we came up with his own program. And in this own program, Dr. Stan got up and sold his own program for $5,000 at the end of the presentation. And I don't even know how many people bought it, but he made like $45,000 by the end of the event with all of the orders. And 
he, instead of selling someone else's program, now sold his own. And I want to say this to say that, you know, we all have something inside of us. We can all sell our own programs, our own programs, our own skills, our own information products, but we have to just realize and sit down for 20 minutes and just ask ourselves, what do I have that I can put together that other people, Tassel says, show me the money that other people will want to purchase from me. What did he have? He was interviewing other, you know, great speakers on how they got through their breakthroughs so that people could achieve their own breakthroughs. And in his presentation, he told people like, how many of you are at a point right now where you need a breakthrough in your life? If that's you, and I'm, I'm telling you this right now, if that's you, give me a five in the comments. Like, are you in need of a breakthrough in your life right now? Whether it's a financial breakthrough, a level up in your life breakthrough, like everybody's saying that, yes. And that's what people in the audience said. And then he said, I have a solution for you. I have my breakthrough to freedom you know, workshop at six weeks, once a week, we're going to be on together. Everybody's like, yes, 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 yes. And he incited such an excitement in the audience that people said, yes. Now let's talk about you. What do you have that people, when they hear what you have, they're going to say, yes, they're going to raise their hand. They're going to pay you for whatever you bring to the table. There's two things that I want you to think about a service that you have and in an information that you have or a course that you have. So we call that an information product or like a course that you have within you. So if it's a service that you're offering to the world, think about what you can do as a service. So I don't know you yet, but what I do know is that you have skills and talents within you that other people will pay you for. So I want you to tell me in the chat box, if I was to pay you right now, Esther, Maria, Theo, Selma, I'm going to pay you a hundred dollars right now. What service am I paying you for? Someone tell me in the chat box, am I paying you to do a voiceover for a commercial? Am I paying you to do a graphic design? Am I paying you to do a transcript to sing? It doesn't matter. Am I praying you, paying you to pray for me? What am I paying you to do? Right? Voiceover. Um, hypnotherapy. Look at you guys. Keep going. Keep going. Type it into the comments. What am I paying you for? Uh, to do a brand song. Okay. Nutritional coaching. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. What am I paying you for? Here you go. A hundred bucks for doing this. What am I paying you for? Digital marketing, comic relief, tell you how to save our kids, um, brand apparel, health and wellness, coaching and consulting calls. You guys have got it. Branding, um, barding myself. What does that mean, Mary? Um, keep going, keep going. Some of you haven't chimed in yet. What, what, are, what am I paying you for? And it can be, let me give you an example. It can be as simple as listening. So one of my students, what she does, I'm saying students because she bought one of my courses, but what she does is she listens to people and they pay her for it. They pay her to listen to them. So um, she gave me an example of one of her clients, this guy who pays her once a week to listen to him. So I said, what is he, what is he talking about? I think she charges $35 for 30 minutes. So that would be like $70 an hour. Not bad for listening, but what she, but what he does, she said, is he talks about his job, his dog, his siblings, his coworkers, and he just needs someone to listen. How many of you know, give me a one in the chat box that in the times that we're in today, sometimes people just need someone to listen to them, right? Just someone to listen to them. I don't know how many of you have ears, but that's probably something you could do. And let me give you the key on what she does in her listening job. She says, there's a few things that you need to do when you do this for someone. As they're talking, you say, uh-huh, interesting. Tell me more. Practice that right now. Ready on the count of three? It's uh-huh. Interesting. Tell me more. <laughs> uh-huh. Interesting. Tell me more, Alicia. <laughs> right. And so, and so this is what she does. And she turned that into a business. And I tell you the story to say that you can be as creative with the service that you offer to the world. Um, and it doesn't have to be bookkeeping or accounting, or it can be whatever you want it to be, right? I have one of my students who gives relationship advice. And when she started doing this, she was 19 and single. She's married now and has a kid. 
but she was giving relationship advice and getting paid for it. So, you know, there's so much that we can do. Someone said praying. Yes, there are people who you will tell them what's going on in your life and they will pray for you or send you the prayer that they said so that, you know, you can definitely, you know, have this. And so <laughs> there's so much that you can do out there in this world. It's just actually identifying what it is you can do and putting it out there to this world. So number one, how do you identify the things that you can sell and put out there as a service in the world? And the times that we're in right now, the your clients are global. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down five, five, five on a piece of paper, five, five, five. The first five is for five friends that you're going to call on the phone and you're going to ask those five friends, Hey, so if I was to offer a service to the world, what would that service be? You know, me, you're a friend, right? What would that service be? So you call five people and you ask them for it. And then the next five is your text messages or your WhatsApp messages. I want you to look for five messages that people sent you and they asked you for advice on. What did they ask you for advice about, right? So you're going to call five and then you're going to look for five text messages and see what are people asking me for advice about, okay? And then you're going to post on one of your social media platforms that you have a new service coming out and you want to, you want people to guess what that service is <laughs> and look at five of the comments that come in. Because when you ask people that, what are they going to do? They're going to say, Hmm, what is Esther good at? I wonder what service she's going to put out there to the world. Oh, yeah. She's probably going to be teaching people how to do sales calls because that's what she's good at sales calls. And so she's going to look at that and say, um, you know, oh, this is what I'm good at. So now you're identifying what you're good at. Then you've got to package it up into a service. So think about how much you're going to charge. But when you start off with your service, you price it low. And here's the thing. Would you pay people to help you start your business? Would you pay people to give you reviews and to talk about you? Of course you would. So when Esther starts off with this service, she's going to say, I'll do this for just $10. She's going to make a flyer using canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And she's going to talk about her service and post it on um, social media. She's going to get her first five clients and get their reviews and testimonials to start off her business. So you start low just to get your business going. So posting on social media will definitely get you in the money. But my favorite site, Dr. Sandoz, I talk about this site all the time, is a site called Fiverr.com. Fiverr. <laughs> yeah, Fiverr. F-I-V-E-R-R.com. F-I-V-E. RR.com. Why do I like this site so much? Because it's completely free for you to get set up and start running a business. So today, right, Maria, today, Maria can go on Fiverr and post a service that she's offering. She'll start off low and then raise her service up. And so Maria's going to post her service. And let me give you an example of my sister. My sister posted on social media yesterday, a screenshot of her Fiverr account where she made $17,000 um, doing graphic design in the past couple of months for businesses. And a caveat, she said, is that she actually doesn't do any of the work. What? She's posting a service, but doesn't do the work. Why is that? Because she outsources all of the work that comes in. So a client will pay her $90 to do a package of social media images, and she pays someone else $10 to do the work, and she pocket, pockets the $80 profits, right? So she's pocketing the profits. That's what we call a flipping model. Get the work in, flip it to someone else. And once you become a little bit more advanced at, you know, um, working for yourself, <laughs> yes, Theo, Fiverr does everyone, everything, right? Once, once you get good at working for yourself, you'll start outsourcing the work to other people to get done. Why? Because you need to be working on your MPAs in your business. Write that down. 
MPA stands for money producing activities. Every day you need to be working on your money producing activities. So you need to be working on bringing in new clients, leveling up your services, putting more services, service marketing out there. I said this in a, in the last breakthrough challenge is that you should spend 80% of your time marketing yourself and your brand and your business and 20% of the time doing the work. If you find that it's flipped, that's when you know you need to outsource the work so that you can spend more time marketing and bringing in new business. If you spend all of your time doing the work, are you going to be able to grow your business? Last example I'm going to give you before I wrap it up is that one of my students, Tyson, he was, he wasn't, he is an amazing website designer, but I say he was an amazing website designer. So he used to design websites. It would take him two weeks to do one website. And then when he was done with the website, he would go out and find his next website client. So he came to me and said, I, I'm really good at website design, but it takes me a while and I know there's a better way. And I looked at his model. I said, of course, there's a better way. So I got him some people who could do website design. And now when an order comes in, he has a quick meeting with the client, gets them to fill out a form and he passes it on to someone else. He charges an average of two to $3,000 a website and he pays someone else 10% of that $200 to actually build the website. Is that good? Now, Tyson was getting in orders every day for websites and outsourcing it for other people to do. He started working on his money producing activities by going to networking events, posting on social media, posting, you know, the, the client work from the past that he's done and showing people this is what he did. Now he can get business in every single day because he's outsourcing the work. But could Tyson do that, go to networking events and all that if he's busy in his business, creating the websites himself? No. So using, remember, always remember Tyson's story and say, am I doing things in my business that I could outsource to someone else? And then my business could grow. And the same place that you can post your service online, Fiverr is the same place that you can find people to outsource to. So go back there. You're going to find people to outsource to. And that's really going to help you in, um, in building and scaling your business. So I think I'm over time right now, but if anybody has a quick question, type it into the chat box, type that question into the chat box. Um, and then let me tell you what's possible. So I showed in a presentation I did last week of a lady who's doing ebook cover design, and she's just probably using Canva. You can use canva.com to use ebook cover design. And she's made over 2 million US dollars doing this one small service. My student, Carrie wow. Ann, she does book cover design and bookkeeping. And she made in December, last time I got her income statement, she made over 12,000 US dollars. Just she's in New York, $12,000 just doing some work from home. And now she's outsourcing some of that. And she's added more services in the past few months, but just focusing in that was six months into starting her business. She's already at 12 grand a month, just focusing on a skill that somebody needs, you know, a service that somebody needs and delivering it as a skill. So, um, let's see. Yeah. And so let's see, Theo, I need to sell someone's service in the breakthrough family. Will that be possible? I'm not sure what you mean, Theo, if you could unmute your mic or just type that again, because I'm not sure what you mean by that. Let's see. I don't know if you want to unmute your mic, but if not, maybe retype it for me, Theo, because I'm not sure um, about that. But I, I will leave you with this as I wait for Theo to retype, is that we all have skills and services within us that somebody would be willing to pay us for. And if you have a great idea, like, you know, uh, doing PR and writing press releases is really big. There's these two websites that you can go to, to learn how to write a press release. And it's completely free to learn how to do it. So come closer to the computer. Cause I'm going to whisper this into the microphone. I want to make sure that you can hear these two free websites. That's right. Maria, Dr. Stan. So these two free websites have all the information you need on it to learn how to have new skills that you can deliver to the, to the service, new skills that you can deliver to the global marketplace. The first website is Google. And the second website is YouTube. 
go to YouTube, type in how to write a press release. Do you think you will find the information on how to write a press release? Absolutely. Go to Google and Google it. Do you think you'll find the information? Absolutely. You could start a whole business around I, writing press no, releases like, here, with free information no, that you found on the internet. <laughs> um, so Tammy, the lady that formats uh, books. Her name is Carrie Watson, K-E-R-R-Y-W-A-T-S-O-N. So I believe she's fiverr.com forward slash Carrie Watson. And then Theo, I heard you saying someone was making money selling products that are not his. That's what I want to do. So that is affiliate marketing, Theo. For example, I have a course and you could sell my course and I will give you 50% of the profits for selling my course. There are um, amazing amount of places that you can go through to do this. First of all, go to amazon.com, scroll all the way to the bottom. It'll say how to make money with Amazon. They have a affiliate partner relationship. You can sell anything on Amazon and make money. In fact, you can go to the bottom of most websites like that and find out how to make money selling their product. So if you find somebody's product or a company's product that you want to sell, find out what their affiliate program is. Here's the thing that I love to do. I make money. I make a few thousand dollars a month um, doing affiliate promotions. All right. Well, like 10 to $20,000 doing affiliate promotions. But, <laughs> but here's the thing that I do. I teach. So there's a software program that I promote that I make a great amount of money every month promoting it. And what I do is I, is I teach videos on how to use it and I post them on YouTube and over social media. So if you want to sell Dr. Stan's breakthrough challenge, you know, create a video on YouTube that says how to reach your breakthrough if you're stuck. And then you talk about how to reach it. And then at the end, you can say, you know what? I hope you found this video useful. But if you really want to learn how to create a breakthrough, you need to do Dr. Stan's Breakthrough Challenge. Check the link in the description below. You'll find out about how to sign up for it. And it's your affiliate link that you're posting. So every time you sell, you make money. You make money. You make money. <laughs> um, Saranta, how can we get a one-on-one -on -one with you? If you want to, I'm going to give you my website. And if you just submit the contact form on my website, my team will see it. And then we can connect that way. Um, so if you find, you can find me on Facebook. So on Facebook, I'm Alicia Rosetta Little. Uh, and then you can easily find me on Instagram. I'm Alicia Little. Oops, the second one should have said Instagram. I'm Alicia Little. So you can find me quickly. Let me know that you're one of Dr. Stan's students. Any question you have, I will answer it. And I just want to tell you that right now is the best time. It's the best time I've ever seen in history to start an online business. I've been in this industry for 21 years. And now in the times that we're in right now, people are buying from, people are buying services from freelancers, from people who are their own boss, offering their own services or agencies, however you set up your business. In fact, I was just reading a book called Key Person of Influence by Kev Kevin Harrington and Daniel Presley. Write down that book. You need to get it now. It is such a great book, Key Person of Influence. And in that book, it says, employers know with labor laws and all this kind of stuff that they do not want to hire someone to work in their business if they don't have to. What do they do? They look for people like me and you who are providing services and charging a fee for our services, but they don't have to hire us to be in their office full time. Maybe they have us on contract. Maybe they buy our services one off or even a reoccurring package, but they don't want to bring us into their office. So what are you to, doing to take advantage of the times that we're in right now and to crush your financial goals by saying, you know what? I have something that I can offer globally to the marketplace. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it today. And I'm going to make that money. Yes, Dr. Stan, thanks for putting that up there. So I just want to thank you guys so much. Make that money. This is my sound machine. Make that money. Cha-ching, cha-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. And thank you guys so much for being here. So reach out to me if you have any questions. Let me know that you're um, one of the students here in the Breakthrough Challenge and go out there, crush it and make that money. You can do it. I promise you that you can do it.
Oh, come on, y'all. Unmute your line. Give her some energy. Come on, Alicia. Do that money thing again. Do that money thing. I hope that you enjoyed that interview with Dr. A Breakthrough as part of his Breakthrough Challenge. If you want to know more about me and what we do at Internet Income Jamaica, please visit internetincomejamaica.com and click on courses. Also, you can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. <laughs> follow me on any of the networks and ask me any questions that you have. And I hope to see you in the next episode of The Digital Jampreneur. Bye for now.